Hello guys and welcome to this new video against uh, lower rated players. So playing against Sebastian from Croatia. Let's go e4. So pretty nice trading, 1644. Need to take care. So we have a Karakan. I'm playing this line. You see four take take. So playing uh, with a uh, with an isolated pawn. So we need to attack him. Knight f6. Not sure of this move. I think it's playable. Bishop g4. Let's go queen b3. There is such a line. I remember someone watching my stream showing me the moves. Um, queen b6. This doesn't look like theory. Mm. So I could play the queen takes and knight b5, which would be met by knight a6. It's a pretty strange endgame and uh, not easy to to evaluate. I could go queen take, and bishop b5 check. This is another idea. I could go bishop b5 check and bishop e3. With the idea to push e d5, I don't know why this is the the, the, the line I'm uh, going to choose. I think it's the one, uh, the most aggressive one. Bishop e3. So I developed four pieces, and my king looks safe, and he developed uh, only three pieces, and his his king is a uh, is under the fire. Though I have double pawns which is really bad for my pawn structure. I have an isolated pawn. My pawn structure is just awful. So I have the two bishops and uh, some kind of attack going on. And uh, he has uh, a healthy pawn structure. And, um, and so if, if, I, if I don't find a way to make ground on in the next, uh, let's say uh, four or five moves, it's going to be a lot better. If I can causing problems, then I'm going to want to be better. I mean, this is pretty much logical. This is a, I need, I need to, to have a dynamic approach. I can go rook c1, pawn takes, knight takes b5, attacking the queen. And after queen a5, I can have bishop d2, and then I will have time playing knight c7, knight takes c8. This is definitely an option to be considered. Oh, I could just retreat the bishop, but I want to play rook c1 and get some action. So pawn take, knight takes, queen a5 check, bishop d2, queen a4, knight c7 check, king d8, knight a8, and knight takes a8. Uh, and this king seems to be really rude to me and hard to, to bring these two pieces, this bishop and this knight, and this uh, rook into the game. Uh, okay. Okay. So now, uh, after castle, pawn takes, knight takes, queen d8, rook takes c8, queen c8, rook c1. Queen b8 is forced, knight c7 check, king d8. Can I win this game or not? This is really the question. Okay, let's risk it. This game with your reddit players, let's see how he can defend himself. Because this is really sharp. This is very, very sharp. Is extremely sharp in fact but you see I'm just uh, I'm just keeping pressure I mean uh, he has problem with development if I just lay down he's just going to play g6 bishop seven castle and, and look at this pawn structure I mean I'm dead I need to kill him before that happen so I need to keep pressure to develop my pieces so he's still three moves away from getting this king safe. 
one, two, three. This is a long, long, long time. So he's not taking material. He's not taking material. So we need to keep the pressure growing. Uh, it's not that easy though to, to get through. Bishop d7, I don't want to, to exchange pieces, but I could play Bishop d7, knight d7, and knight e4. This might be interesting. Okay, let's try it. And if we don't like to to exchange pieces, sometimes it's uh, it's making things easier because bishop on d3 would not be a healthy piece in attack. So okay, it straight this those rooks, and now we straight bishop f4 and after queen f4 rook c8 checkmate. The pressure is still growing. So you know, bishop f4. Oh, or even. Queen C3. Or oh, Queen C3. What's what's the answer after Queen C3? Oh F6. So let's go bishop F4. So Queen take. Just uh just rook c8 checkmate. If queen d8, queen takes b7. Straightening rook c8. If queen a8 queen a8 how do I finish the job queen e3 looks next nasty nasty uh, straining queen e3 straining knight d6 looks real strong because you cannot go f5 and after bishop g7 knight d6 check King f8, rook c8 is winning the queen. And if king d8, I'm taking on f7 with a check. And uh, taking on h8. And okay, this is, uh, this is the end of it. Or I could go rook c8 anyway. So this is the win. So 20 moves. So what what happened? Uh, this move queen b6, I think, was wrong. I think there are some, some, some crazy likes with knight... Uh, Knight c6, knight d4. I mean, taking on b7. Maybe someone will write on, on YouTube because I remember uh, a viewer of, the, of my Twitch stream uh, knew, knew this line pretty good. But uh, bishop b5, bishop e3. So you see, I'm, I'm just playing with the idea that I have a better development. So you see, I recognize that all my pieces are into the game. Okay, my pawn structure is bad. So I need to do something and something quick. Taking advantage of this king on e8. So that's why queen c7, rook c1. So after take, take, maybe let's go into this variation. What I calculated was something like that. Ah, oh, queen a4 is not working because of rook c8. And queen takes a4. Yeah, so he could not even play like that because he has no good squares for the queen now to protect the rook. And he has uh, definitely no squares. Because even queen a2, everything is falling to rook c8, or if queen d8, knight c7, and the king is uh, is checkmated, the queen goes to d8. So he went rook c8. This is something I remember. I castled. So here again, if take take. Queen move to d8. Let's say. Uh, that's what I calculated. Maybe I have better moves, but I saw something like that. Oh, and again, the queen is trapped. So queen b8, bishop a7. If queen a8, a knight c7, okay, winning the queen. If queen d8, knight c7, checkmating. And if the queen goes away, okay, let's go to f4. Then rook c8 is a checkmate. So he could not go like that as well. So he could he could really never never grab these bishops so after castle. He went queen d8. So take take knight e4. Take take and now. This is really hard to play. Maybe f6 was a good try to get uh, to get the king uh, a place to live. 
still it, it looks really awful here even if you play f i mean if you have to play f6 in this position it means uh, white has a, has a big advantage plus a g6 bishop f4 so again you can't take it queen a8 and queen e3 preparing knight d6 check and uh and this is the end so uh very very beautiful game so after the, the mistake um in the opening i think this was uh it was pretty much crystal clear and sebastian defended well but but never really had a chance to come back into this game so thank you for watching goodbye